Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today I'm back with part 3 on how to create uh, a login system and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create the, regis the register form uh, where we actually input data into the database which then we can use to log in. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, things are going to be pretty similar uh, as they were previously with the login except instead of reading it we're going to be inputting it uh, so when this time we're going to be using the register button so double click in here but again before we start we need to do a few things we need to obviously import the mysql dot data dot mysql client and we also need to make a few or declare a few things so like last time we need the my SQL can and this is just going to be as my SQL connection so you'll probably realize that most of this is the same we also need the command again uh, my SQL command and we also had a reader last time but uh, we'll get onto that later on uh, so Again in the button we had a try like last time and we changed this exception to the my SQL exception and under here we just display the little message uh, message box dot show and inside here we just had x dot message um, and also underneath this message we had a finally where we disposed connection so do mysql con dot dispose uh, like that now if we get that out of the way now we don't have to worry about that later on um, inside the try is where we're going to be actually executing what we want to do but just above the try we just want to type in my sql con uh, is equal to a new mysql connection like just like we did last time and we also want to add the connection string uh, so my sql con dot connection string and if we come into the register uh, sorry what we used last time we can just take this same bit of code to save us typing it out again uh, so if we go back into here and just paste that into there like that and underneath here we'll put the reader here dim reader as mysql what do we want mysql data reader and that should be that uh, you can put that up there which is probably best off to do but uh, we'll just leave that there for now so yeah let's get started within the try uh, why do we have an error? Um, maybe I'll just put that back up where it was. Or we'll just leave, I'll sort that out in a bit. So if we leave that there. Oh. Inside this try, we want to open our connection. So we'll do that by typing MySQL con, which obviously is the connection and we want to open that up uh, underneath here we want to create a query um, well I'm just gonna call it query dim query as string and then underneath here you just want to type query is equal to and this is what we want to tell wh what we want to do to the database so uh, we want to insert into now our database name which is this so we want to insert into this database dot user so 
but user is our table name so we got the database and the database table like that uh, and in brackets is what we want to insert so or the field what we want to insert so we want to obviously do the username and also we want to do the password again if you wanted to do the email you'll just do this email like that now the other side of this bracket I'm going to do a space and type values and this is just us telling it what we want to put into the username and the password uh, column so again another set of brackets and inside here just like last time we had to use uh, the speech marks in the single to tell it we want to break in the string so same thing again I just want a single double and an and and a double and a single like that and inside here we got text box one dot text like that and the other side of here we want a comma and if we can just copy this again to save time and a bit of confusion if you got that paste that again and we just want to switch this to a number two now that should be fine for that underneath this line uh, we want to just do command is equal to new mysql command and inside here we need to uh, type in our query which is our string here and we would just want a comma and our mysql connection there we go uh, and after uh, below here reader this should get rid of this error that we have uh, reader is equal to cmd dot execute reader now that should take that away yeah uh, so basically this is inserting it using the command and the command is uh, this what we're telling it here so underneath here that should be us successfully inserted that in so message box uh, dot show inside here we can just say successfully registered like that and underneath here we can show the login form again but ours isn't called login it's just called form one so form one dot show and also me dot close once more uh, and underneath that we can close the connection because we're done we don't need a we no longer need to connect to that again in this button click so we close that connection and that should be good so let me just run over this uh, to make sure it's good so we've got the connection the connection string uh, opening the connection also our little command here we we want to insert into this database in this table uh, these values here so whatever we type in here will be inserted uh, and then yeah that looks good we're gonna show our form once we're registered so we can log in again so let's try this out this should be fine now let's say we want to sign up as user and password which if you look in my database here we do not have so it should not let us log in details are incorrect now if we go to register and we type in user and password oops and if we actually press register you have an error so what's our error you have an error in your MySQL syntax um, that corresponds at line one so let's have a look at this ah 
I left a comma here, which I shouldn't have. Make sure you don't make that mistake. So register, user, password, uh, register. Now we are successfully registered, OK. Now it's brought back our login screen. So if we type user and password now, we should be able to log in and get our tool. Yep, which we have. So if we close that off, we come to the database and refresh it. Uh, we have to log in again. Uh, the password is this. Uh, wrong capture apparently. Never good with these. Uh, if we log in look in our table now we should have user and password which we do now what we entered we got user password and also you'll see that it's number two now so each time we register if I just open this back up again register again if I type user one and password register that okay if we open this and refresh it should see that we got free now. If this wants to load, click on our table, and as you can see, we got free user one and password, just what I entered, and that should work if I was to type that in. There we go. So it's as simple as that. Uh, Sorry I didn't explain the code too well, because when there's a lot to write I just like to type it out and sort of go over it afterwards. But hopefully you get the basic understanding of how to input data into the database and then read it again, check if it's right and so on. Now, uh, I will make one more episode after this showing cleaning things up, uh, stuff like that. But that's going to be it for the series. I hope you did enjoy it and hopefully you got yourself a nice login system using a database and if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time